And I've actually only experienced your prayers at ASAP a couple of times. Mm-hmm. You know, the the last cycle that I was part of, you you prayed, I think it was twice, and then Sir Ogi prayed one time. Right. right. Um and when you pray, it's it's not you. I and I I have to make this clear. It's not Sir Gary. It's there's something that fills the room. There's a there's a presence there, there's a feeling there. It just feels very different. And when you talk, it's not like you're talking to us, Sir Gary. It's like you're talking to someone you know very, very well. Um, that you've gone through thick, thick and thin with, and you've talked about him a little bit today. It's not rehearsed; it's very mm. raw. So, why is that, and how do we, how can someone watching right now get that, that intimacy? Okay. Um, okay, I'll be as raw as possible. Okay. All right. When I speak to when I speak to people, uh, whether it's fellow artista or kapamilya. Or even others, kapamilya, kapuso, or what, anybody who wants to talk to me, I always tell them, na, just be yourself. And that's mm-hmm. how I am with the Lord. I just come to Him as I am. I never try and come to Him as the person that I want Him to see me trying to be. Kumbaga, I, I want to try to be like this para pag nakita ko ni Lord, you know, that's what He sees. And I always try and imagine how God would talk to me. So when I pray, it's not because I'm walking a nice and holy, you know, walk with the mm-hmm. Lord, but it's nice to really imagine and believe that He's right there. You know why? Because He is. When you talk to the Lord and come to Him and say, "Lord, I'm not doing well. Hindi okay sa akin ang problema ng ito." That's fine. When you come before the Lord and say, "I'm struggling with this, Lord. I, I hurt this person. I don't know what to do." That's mm-hmm. okay. Or even, Lord, I'm I'm having a hard time believing in you. That's okay. Okay, just come to Him that way instead of Lord, Hallelujah, I love you, Lord. I, you know, and but inside of you, medyo opposite ang nararamdaman mo. Right. Come to Jesus as you are. You don't need to be a hero or a superstar. That's part of a song that I wrote. Um, and the title of that song is As You Are. And that's exactly how He wants you. Okay? You only are. He, only He can make you what He wants you to become. And that's the best that you can actually become. Is it, does it happen overnight? May not. Does it happen in years? It may, but it may not. But it's a journey. And the way I pray in front of everybody in ASAP, unang-una, kakilala ko na sila eh. Di ba? Pati yung mga mm-hmm. cameramen, yep. yung mga staff members, the crew, of course, the artists, the dancers, everyone there. We all know each other na. So it's best to just come before them like I represent everybody coming before God as we are. I know for a fact that when I pray, I sense that there are some going through difficult times in life. Na hindi nila siyempre yung ilabas, mailabas. Habang nasa asap kami, siyempre, kasi magsusur na kami. Diba? Yeah. But there are some that shed a tear. There are some that come to me after that say, either Tito, thank you, ha? Huh? You know, and, and, and they just shake my hand. Um, there was one time, there's a popular couple, okay? And one of the guy, the guy came up to me and said, Tito, thanks, ha? Huh? That, that really helped me. That alone is already a a, a a crack in the wall, you know, that may have been put up in order to show the world that everything is okay when actually right. it's the opposite. And when that wall begins to fall and that wall is what keeps you safe, maybe God knows it's what keeps you safe. But if it falls, it will break. But when his hands are being allowed to put things together again, it will still end up as a masterpiece. When you say masterpiece, remember, only you, uh, you watching us right now, you are made in the image and the likeness of God. And because he's the master, kung ano ang gagawin niya sa buhay ninyo, kung hayaan yung gawin niya, you will still end up a piece of the master. In other words, a masterpiece. Wow. Kahit na anong sabihin ninyo, at the end of the day, he is trying to make you what he wants you to be, you know. And even if you don't feel it, but you believe it, it will things will come 
things will happen. I'm not saying it will happen in no, well, it will be a happy life forever. No, it will not be. It will be a challenge. You will meet all sorts of tribulations in the world. But God has overcome all of those tribulations. So imagine that God who has overcome all of these tribulations inside your heart. Can you imagine kung ano yung kaya nyong gawin? Kung ano ang kaya nyong malampasan? Kung ano ang mga problemang sa, sa dulo nun, eh magiging victorious kayo? Can you imagine that with God in your heart? It's, it's beyond what words can actually express. And so, I don't want people, uh, lastly, uh, I just don't want people to think na sana ganun ako, kagaya ni Sir Gary and all. I have so much in my life I have to work on, Edward. I have, there's so many things yeah. that I know I struggle with. Uh, I, there's so many things I know I can fix up. But I'm trusting in God that at the proper time, in the proper way, it might hurt a little bit. But that's okay. You know, um, Sometimes pain is what makes you understand and what puts you value into the things that you need to put value into when pain is a part of it. And, uh, you know, that's just, oh, I'm sorry my answer is so long. No, on one no. Simple question. It's not, so. it's a very simple question, but it's an answer that uh, you could give us a thousand words, uh, Sir Gary. You, I think you, if you count it, you might have. <laughs> but the biggest, uh, and I, and I, I, I hear this. Uh, I say this all the time. The biggest form of uh, evangelism, the biggest testimony could ever give, and anyone could ever give, is not through their words, through their answers, but through living it out. And you truly do live it out. And it's a great inspiration for for myself, for everyone watching, even the people who don't know God personally. That's like okay, uh, since like you said, we're all made in the image of God. You can see. And I think it's the best compliment you could ever give anyone. Even bigger than I love you is I see a little piece, a shadow <laughs> of a shadow of who God is through your life. So thank you, Sir Gary, for sharing your life here on Quentin Barber, for sharing it throughout many, many years in the industry, your, through your craft, through your music, uh, through your words, and through your encouragement. So uh, I'm just so, I think it's one of my favorite episodes ever. I claimed it. Oh, I said man. it in the chat that it would be and it, it truly has become just that. So Sir Gary, would you like to invite anyone to come and, and check out well, anything that you're doing at the moment? Um, right